There were a number of technologies that were shown uh, from sort of bottom to top. There were uh, several new front hall technologies. Front hall is the technology that sort of allows you to separate the antenna from the thing that's sending the signals to the antenna. Um, so there were uh, technologies that showed how to do that using Ethernet as opposed to just a, a, a a solid fiber, you can have an Ethernet network between the antenna and the, uh, and the thing driving the antenna. New ways of doing uh, the signaling across the actual antennas. Um, and that's very interesting to the focus group, of course, because while we're not involved in the radio side, we are involved in the network and how to control the network. So anything that puts a network between the antenna and the thing driving the antenna is, is very interesting to us. There were demonstrations of uh, the softwareization, uh, two or three demonstrations of the softwareization. One which showed um, a, a virtualization or a, a containerization technology, uh, which is referred to as containers or Docker containers, which is a very lightweight form of, of isolating a piece of software, uh, where we showed uh, 4G completely isolated in these very, very lightweight uh, software containers. Uh, we were able to bring up multiple 4G networks, one demonstration showing um, the ability to bring up two uh, new 4G slices and then be able to move the components around. Uh, we were also able to, to demonstrate the creation of uh, three different 5G slices uh, within um, uh, this uh, architecture that had a a CRAN, a transport network, and a data center. So we were able to create uh, and demonstrate uh, a ultra low latency slice complete with UEs. Uh, test you are big, they're big, they're not nice little things like this right now. Um, ultra low latency, uh, ultra high reliability, and then the enhanced mobile broadband. So the, the three basic slice types that are being discussed by 3GPP, we showed an infrastructure able to actually create those. We showed the ability to create non-IP um, technologies within a slice, information-centric networking, that was shown. Um, we showed the ability of the softwareization system to react to uh, events in the network and to take action and correct them without human intervention. Uh, we also had uh, almost the entire afternoon or, or three sessions during the afternoon talking about next generation uh, application mechanisms within a slice that are not IP. Those are the, the, some of the, the highlights. It was a very e exciting day and uh, people seemed pretty interested by these demonstrations. So it was, all in all, it was a, it was a great, uh, great week. <laughs>